from the dead. Welcome back, guys. My name is Kurt. Today we're making the napalm dip part two because you asked for it. I know I haven't uploaded in a very long while. That's been because of this routine being a very difficult routine and I've been practicing this very, very hard. Also, I had school going on, so that's why uh, I couldn't upload and I hope you're fine with that. But today we're gonna get a dip napalm part two and I hope you will enjoy it because we got a lot of requests. This is my 3000 subscriber special video. Thank you guys for 3000 subscribers. It's gone really fast. So napalm is a special guy and this is a special routine. So that's why I thought it suited perfectly into my 3000 subscribers special video. First off, if you haven't checked out Napalm when he makes his routine dip, I will link his original routine down in the description so you can check that out right there. Also, if you haven't checked out the first part of his routine that I covered in another tutorial, check that out down in the description as well. So you watch that first and then you come back here. So this tutorial will cover the rest of his routine and I hope you will enjoy that. Let's get right into the sounds you need in order to make this whole routine. The first sound is a lip roll, no surprise there. So you will need the regular lip roll. I have a tutorial down in the description for that. Also I want you to practice It's like making a lip roll and then going out again with the air. When you got that, try to practice making a hum first and then making it at the same time. So, so you start with a hum and then you continue the hum through the... This is why you don't need your lungs to do the... Because you can hum at the same time. Practice that a bit as well. You will need the inward lip roll. Also the one without the pop, so only... This is the one with the pop, and this is the one without the pop. And the inward lip roll, there you use your lungs. So that's by using your lungs and breathing in. You will need the case snare inward lip roll, so it's the making a case snare and the inward lip roll without the pop. You will need the and that's making a inward lip roll without the pop and then putting your tongue over the hole and then releasing it again, so. You'll need the cough snare. Also, we need the kind of cough snare when you close your mouth, so. You will also need the lip base. And also, you will need to combine the cough snare with the lip base, so. Also, with the lip base, you gotta be able to do. It's a very tight kind of lip base. What you do is you make the very tight lip base and then you say do 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 Try to practice that a bit as well. You'll need that. It's like a teeth lip roll and then K snare after that, so. You will need the outward K and. And. And this thing, that means breathing in. So whenever time I type this, I mean breathing in. That's pretty much all the sounds. So if you got all of those, then you're fine with the sounds. But now the trick part comes and that's doing all the patterns in this routine. But I hope you will get it. I think you will get it if you practice enough. What I did with this routine is I divided it into four different parts. The first part, the hum part, because it's gonna hum there. And then the power part, because it's very powerful. <laughs> And then the last part, uh, those are the four segments I divided his routine in, in this uh, second part of it. We'll start with the first one now. So the first thing he does in his second part of the routine is saying dip in a certain way. So it's dip, 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 ba, dip, ba, dip, you dip, ba, dip, ba. So the first, the first line of his routine, I guess, is the... Try to practice that, really worth learning, so practice that a lot, like really much, uh, get it very clean.
like get it like that so okay now i wanted to go through i think this is the most difficult part of his pattern don't get discouraged if you don't get it uh like right away and it's the <laughs> so we'll start with a try to learn that first and then you do the only that part so what you do is you breathe in and then you make the inward lip roll without the pop and then you make a regular lip roll out there so so try to practice that breathe in with your nose so from the beginning and after you get that you just add a So the whole thing. <laughs> just practice that yourself. Just look at it very closely and just do it yourself. And then if you get that part, you can combine it with the part that you just learned before. So it's going to be like. Try to slow that down what I just did if you can't get it like that fast and try to just go through it like very very carefully and I think you will get it. So combine those two parts. <laughs> try to get all the parts I say here very fast and clean. I also want you to practice this and that's a so you breathe in and then you make a So, you can, you can get that part, I'm pretty sure if you practice a lot yourself and you can slow down what I just did and just practice yourself. I can't just say much more than that. So now we're done with the first part, now we're moving on to the hum part of his routine. So this is not very difficult, it's very much like the thing we just did before. So just practice this part first. Practice that over and over. So after you get that, you move on to the... Try to get that part, slow me down if you want to, as I said a thousand times. And then if you get that, you make a <coughs> in the beginning of that. Try to get the timing very good there, so. <coughs> and then this next part. <coughs> you get the point of it. I don't have to go through like every single part of it. And you get the pattern right here. So practice this. And uh, I will make it one time right now, very slow for you, so you can hang on to that. But I don't have to say much more about it because it's not a lot of think about. Just practice, practice, practice. So first you get that part down very very slow, try to practice yourself as well and then you try to get it very very fast before attempting the routine. So and so on. So you get it very very fast, very very good. So now it's the power part. I call it that because it's very much power in. And this part is actually much easier. You say the dipping again and then after that you make the Right, 
Remember that this means and this means so they are very different. So you gotta really know it in the power part. The thing that might be a bit tricky is the it's very fast like after each other but if you break it down it's not that difficult so <laughs> try to practice that a bit you can also practice that all over and over again so I'll make it slow this uh, part as well, so you can try to follow along or practice yourself. You do what you want to. So. Now we come to the last part of the pattern. I'm happy if you got this far uh, because that means you're probably gonna get this routine. The last part is also, as I said before, uh, a bit easier. So uh, yeah, I think you will get that pretty good if you got the other. By the way, you're not gonna get this in one day. Uh, you gotta practice daily for many days, like really many days before you get this uh, good. So the first thing of the last part is So the thing you gotta think about here is the you can practice that a bit. Also practice. So. Dip, 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 I dip, you dip, I dip, he dip, I ch Yeah, and that's all it is. That's the whole second part of his routine. Uh, if you manage to get this far, congratulations, because then now I'm gonna show you the routine, uh, how I do it, and uh, all the time I've spent to practice this. Yeah, I can't stress that enough. Like, I have been, like, grinding with this pattern, like, very much. It's been really difficult for me. I didn't feel like it was gonna be that difficult, but to get all the parts down in a flowy way and get it very fast and still keep the flow, that's been a challenge. You will just have to start slow and try to practice the part that you struggle with. So don't practice the whole routine all the time. Try to practice like the things you don't know. So I will make the whole routine myself now. You can slow me down and I really advise you to slow me down. Otherwise you're not gonna hang on. I'm pretty sure of that. The beatbox script to this will be right on top of me as I go. So you can try to follow along as good as you can. I will also put the beatbox script down in the description and also at the end of this video. So you can practice yourself wherever you are. Without further ado, let's go. Dip, 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 ba dip, ba dip, you dip, ba dip, ba dip. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for 3,000 subscribers. Learn this pattern, even though it's very difficult. I think it's a very cool pattern with a lot of like humming and lip rolling at the same time and stuff like that. And very much power and stuff like that. So I really think it's worth learning this pattern. I also want to tell you guys that the Swedish Beatbox Championship is coming very soon. 
8th of December. I might make a highlight video of cool beats and stuff like that on that night. I will put a link to their Instagram and their YouTube down in the description below. Check them out, subscribe to Swedish Beatbox community. Without further ado, leave a like, leave a comment, share the video and subscribe because more is coming. My name is Kurt and I'm out. This is my three ta um this is my three s three three thousand This is my three sa thousand